Hey Cupcakes! Today's video is going to be the march in my mini planner. Um, so, I have this sticker set here that we're going to use. And then I also have this pretty little floral washi to use. So, let's just get on into it. Alright, so, I do have these here. So little icon stickers, so Payday is on the 10th for me. That is not lined up to the edge. There we go. And then, so we'll do the birthday on the 2nd up here at the top because that is majority of my birthdays for March. What I do is take these little checklist bullet points and just put them on important dates. So, big important date would also be the 12th. Okay, another big date. Get my phone up here so I'm not just looking down. Will be the 14th. And then the 21st. Okay, take these little in pieces off. Okay, and the 21st. Okay, so what I like to do is just do this so I can see everything because sometimes if I have too much I can't see all of it. So the first, we don't have anything. We got the birthdays I need to put in. And then that's the Go Wild event this coming weekend. I'm not going to. And then, let's see, got the payday, which is that, got his birthday, The Sims is coming out with its infant pack on the 14th, nothing on the 16th, 17th and St. Patty's Day, already have that marked, nothing on the 18th, nothing on the 19th, 20th, have 21st marked, 22nd, 23rd, 24th is the other payday, so Monday is trash day, and Friday is planner days, this one at the top with the fist. That one fits. This is the other marker for payday. Oh, and and I have his birthday as well. And since I've already been using the green for everything, we'll just use another green for her birthday. Just the 31st. Bring in this decorative element here. Just need to make it fit. So. I don't know what compelled me to do that to the flower per se, but we did it anyway. Now it's on there. And I have it on there and it doesn't cover the date. So now I have all these little scraps left. Go ahead and use whatever I had left over for uh, one of my weekly spreads. So there's that. So let's go back to here. So all I had left on that one. Oh, I actually did have a couple more. Flags. So let me actually, because I don't really like how that looked. Let me go back. Let me take this off because I don't like it. And put right there. Yeah. It works.
works. So now we'll go back to the month and we're here. So there's that sheet used. And then we'll do a couple more things. Call it a wrap. So let's put just a rainbow right there. Because I was going to use the washi, but there's no real days besides these three that, like on my classic. I already put the little trash can to mark for all the Mondays and I put the little planner on all the Fridays. So we'll just use my little St. Patty's Day stickers. But I don't want it to do too much of like on the nose things. So the rainbow up there and then the rainbow down here was a pot of gold. And we'll do clover. This little banner above the date for St. Patty's Day. And we'll just do all the little clover that I have. Fill out the side. And then I'll make my gold pieces are small enough. No, they're a little too big. So we'll leave it at that. Alright, so there is my March monthly in my mini happy planner. It's not very filled out as my classic is, but it does the trick. And plus this one leaves me more space to write if need be. Even though I don't have that much to write about. And if I can't really write it on the monthly, I can put it on the week. So... But there we go. So payday for those. And then birthdays, we'll put Allie and Shelly. And then Hunter. And then Taylor. And then Sims Infants Update. Aunt Iva for the 31st, and then we'll put Get Spring Nails. Because Easter will be on the 9th, so that gives me plenty of time to have like a two week thing of nails right before we go on our trip and then my birthdays and the update and yeah super cute so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one see you cakes bye